refresh my other screen here. I've got everything going on. Yeah. No, it's not showing. We're live on there. <laughs> but, no. Hope we're live. <laughs> Welcome to trivia. Still not showing up here. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right. So welcome. If you want to put your um, team name in the chat, I will get that put into the spreadsheet. Yeah, five viewers. Okay. Although one of them is me, because I'm like. Yeah. <laughs> so Abby's gonna be playing trivia today. Yes, I am. Cause Katie wrote trivia. Dare you accept the challenge? <laughs> Go against the Hufflepuff. I get all my last minute codes in. Yeah. Well, the winter game codes, I think, keep working. What? The winter game codes keep working even after the winter. Game. Oh, do they? Okay. Over, yeah, if I remember right, I'd have to read the description again, but I thought it said that they continue on through like the summer game because they're technically like connected to the summer game. And then when the summer game ends, they won't be. Gotcha. I hope they keep working because I was playing the portals library badge thing. Yeah. I get a chance to finish it. You got the wrong title in here, Katie. What? Oh. Ah. Thank you. <laughs> I was like looking at the picture. I'm like, that doesn't match. <laughs> Yeah, no, I have it on the other one. Remember, I told you I had that one PowerPoint I was trying to do, but yeah. you know, it changed the color. And so I typed in Half Blood Prince on there, and then I started a new one, but I like oh, gotcha. it I wanted the same text and I forgot to change it. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, we don't have any team names in the chat yet. So, does anyone um, want to play along in the chat? You're welcome to send in a team name, but you can also play along just on your own at home. All right, it is 402, which means it's rules time. Any teams yet? No, nope, doesn't look like it. So we can go ahead and get started with the rules. Okie doke, let's get going. We do have five viewers. Oh, there's I Know Nothing. Welcome back, I Know Nothing. Number one is no Googling. This is just for fun. Uh, there are no prizes. So if you don't know the answer, just make one up. Number two is keep track of your own score. It is point per question, zero points if you get it wrong. There are no negative points deducted unless we tell you otherwise. Number two is write your team name with your answer. That's so we can give you a shout out in the chat if you got it right. Or sorry, give you a shout out if you got it right. Um, or if we like your guess. Number four is save all challenges for before the final question. That, so if you think that we got something wrong, let us know in the chat and we will look it up on the Harry Potter Wiki. Uh, side note on this one, this is all from the books. So um, there are probably a few, unless we say that it's from the movie, um, we're always gonna revert to the books. Number five is play in the YouTube chat, not the event note. So if you're currently at aadl.org, hop on over to YouTube and play along with us in the live chat. And number six is have fun as always. All right, and we did get a second team. We got I know nothing and I know something. Oh, I see. All right. <laughs> What's your team name gonna be? Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff, yeah. Obviously, simple. <laughs> All right. Hufflepuffs automatically rule. <laughs> so you want to do odds or evens today? I'll do odds today. Okay. All right, here we go with question number one. What muggle politician does Cornelius Fudge meet with at the beginning of the book? 
time starts now. Are you looking for his name? No, just like who he is. If you know his name, kudos to you. Should I play along like in the chat? No, you don't have to play along in the chat. You can just say. I don't think I can actually. Yeah. <laughs> it's got music playing. Who do you say it is, Abby? It's the Prime Minister, of course. You know his name? No. Okay, I was say, because the wiki didn't even say it, it just says Prime Minister. Yeah, I don't think it did say his name. Okay, uh, so <laughs> the answers we got in the chat are the President and Barack Obama. Yeah, I like both answers. The correct answer is, oops, the Prime Minister. All right. All right, next question. Nymphadora Tonks' Patronus changed from a jackrabbit to what animal? Time starts now. My answer is a wolf. All right, so we got dolphin and unicorn in the chat. Oh, that's a good answer. Correct answer is a wolf. Oh, it's, hey, I'm even today. I'm sorry. It's just weird because I'm in charge of the PowerPoint. So. <laughs> yep, good job. <laughs> so. right. Next question. What potion does Harry successfully brew to win the Felix Felicis? Time starts now. real quick before I get your answer when I was doing the slides I just did like duplicates of the first question and answer to get like the, the format the same all the way yeah yeah and uh so when I was replacing it it was like every answer was the prime minister so it's like what motion does he brew the prime minister what does he <laughs> change into the prime minister <laughs> I like this is prime minister <laughs> The answer is draft of living death. All right, and our answers in the chat are love potions. Correct answer is the drought of living death. I was gonna say drought, but then I was like, why? That wouldn't make sense. Drought, like yeah. Yeah, no, that's what it is. Well, do I get that one? Yeah, you can have okay. that one. <laughs> okay, good. All right, next question. Where in Hogsmeade was Katie Bell cursed with the Imperius curse and given the cursed opal necklace? Got three curses in here. <laughs> I see that. <laughs> there wasn't really any other word to use. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Microsoft did not like the way I spelled imperious. What? Microsoft did not like the way I spelled imperious. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't like any of the Harry Potter spells. All right. Uh, what's your answer? I'll tell you the ones in the chat. Um, my answer is in the three broomsticks bathroom. All right. Uh, so we got one for Meyer and one for Pub. Nice. Correct answer. Girls bathroom at the three broomsticks. But if you said just bathroom, I guess it's probably mine or the three broomsticks. Or the three broomsticks, yeah. <laughs> you want to give like a half a point for pub? 
Yeah, yeah, we can do that because it, it is a pub. Half a point for pub. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, next question. Which professors or which professor teaches potions in the sixth year? Science or yourself? And this is a sixth year, you know, because it's what? I said this is of course Harry's sixth year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just like, well, <laughs> so taught them in you know Percy's sixth year. Yeah. I see. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear you very well. <laughs> oh, that's okay. <laughs> but I know nothing is happy that we gave a half point for pub. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so what's your answer? Um, Professor Slughorn. And then our answers in the chat are Professor Snape. Okay, correct answer is Boris Slughorn. Question. All right. What kind of bean is F Fenrir Greyback, the Death Eater? Time starts now. Uh, Snape teaches potions the other years. Yeah. Uh, we got a question in the chat about when does Snape teach it? Yeah, he teaches it years one through five. But then when Slughorn comes, he takes over Defense Against the Dark Arts. Yeah. All right. What's your answer to this one? He's a werewolf. So uh, our answer in the chat is uh, human being. Oh, I see. <laughs> Correct answer is werewolf. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, so I, I don't know. Maybe you knew this all along, but I didn't just like realized today when I was writing this that this looks like a lot like Fenris Wolf, like from Norse mythology. Fenrir. Yeah, yeah, Fenrir. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. That's where that name is familiar from. Yes, Fenris. <laughs> Next. Yeah, Fenrir Wolf. Yeah. yeah. All right. All righty. What does the Minister of Magic, Rufus Scrimger, ask Harry to do when he visits the borough over, for, over Christmas? Time stays now. He asks him to come work for the ministry. Yeah. So our answers in the chat are bake cookies and play Santa Claus. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I like those. Those are good Christmassy things to do. Yes. All right. Correct answer is appear to work alongside the ministry. Yep. So you got it right. Anything worth working with the ministry. It's a cool picture. Yeah, I know. I like that one. I was trying. I was trying to find a lot of fan art stuff, and I was like, "There's not going to be anything of this." And then there's that one. That one that showed up, and I was like, "Oh, that's really neat looking." Yeah. Mm -hmm. Question: Who temporarily replaced Zachariah Smith as Quidditch commentator? That's our sound. <laughs> What's your answer? Uh, Luna Lovegood. So we have 
in the chat, Ben Wood and Dumbledore. <laughs> ben Wood, all right. <laughs> Correct answer is Luna Lovegood. <laughs> Cute. All right, next question. Where does Harry use, or sorry, what does Harry use to save Ron when Ron drinks the poisoned mead? Time to start up. I feel like we may have used this question before. I tried to come up with all new all right, questions. Sorry, say again, say again. I said, I feel like we may have used this question before because we've done so many Harry Potter trivias, but I don't know. I think that. the one we usually use is Actually, yeah, we may have used this. We also ask, like, where does this thing come from? Okay. Yeah, that's a harder version of this question. Yeah. All right. What's your answer? It is a bezoar. All right. In the chat, we got water. Or a bezoar, as Jim <laughs> Dale pronounces it. As who pronounces it? The narrator of the audiobooks. Ah, the narrator. The narrator. All right, oh, and Wolfbane. Wolfbane was the other answer. The correct answer is a bourgeois. <laughs> All right, next question. Ramil the Vane asks Ginny if Harry has what magical beast tattooed on his chest? Time starts now. I didn't do any questions about lavender for this one because she's so annoying. What? I thought about doing a question about lavender as like, nah, lavender is really annoying. I don't want to do a question about her. Yeah. What's your answer? Either a Hungarian horn tail or a hippogriff. You gotta pick one. I know I do. This is what happened last time. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say a hippogriff. All right, our answers in the chat are unicorn and dragon. Oops. Correct answer is a hippogriff. <laughs> and she tells her, no, it's a Hungarian horn tail. Yeah. <laughs> <My macho. laughs> All right, next question. This one's you. Oh, yes. Who tells Harry that Draco has been visiting the Room of Requirement? Time to start And creature. All right. In the chat, we have Myrtle and uh, we also have Neville, not together. Just like. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Correct answer is Dobby and creature. All right. So um, I guess if you got just like if you're playing afterwards and you just got one of them, you can give yourself half a point. <laughs> yeah. There's no good pictures of the two of them together. Besides not them. really. <laughs> not even like fan art. Yeah, no, there's not a lot of fan art of, surprisingly, there's not a lot of fan art of Dobby. Really? That's weird. Yeah. He's, he's such a fun character. I know. Next question. What subject did Voldemort apply to teach at Hogwarts but was refused by Dumbledore? Time starts now. Oh, hello, Team Elder One. Welcome back. <laughs> Who? Team Elder One. 
Elderwan just joined us. Oh, welcome. We've had Team Elderwan here before, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. You know the rules, right? <laughs> if you don't, let us know in the chat and we'll give them a quick refresher. But the most important one is just to keep track of your own score. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what's your answer? My answer is defense against the dark arts. All right. Yep, they say they remember the rules. They've been here before. Okay, so our answer is, uh, our answers are uh, dark arts for both, um, for Elder One and I Know Nothing, so. Well, dark arts is technically a different class than defense against the dark arts. Oh, and one, and I, know, I know something says pottery. <laughs> oh, I like it. <laughs> I mean, we could probably take it defense against the dark arts. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. No, just, yeah. <laughs> I don't think they teach dark arts at Hogwarts. They do in year seven. <laughs> oh, I guess that's true. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool picture of. Uh... Thank you. I, I typed in like young Voldemort, and that one came up. Well, most are like him is like when he was little at school, like yeah, at school. But that one came up, and I was like, that's a cool one. Yeah. All right, I like pottery though. I know something. Yeah, <laughs> kind of looks a little bit like Benedict Cumberbatch. Slightly, but like a much more vicious version of him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next question. What piece of dark magic did Slughorn tell Tom Riddle about? Time starts so. Okay, so what's your answer? Uh, the Horcruxes. Yeah, I had I wanted to put some easier ones in here. Uh, Team Elder One also says Horcruxes. Um, I know nothing says the things to capture your soul, but I can't remember what they're called. That's fine. <laughs> I think that's acceptable. Yeah, that's, that's exactly that's what they are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's go ahead and put the correct answer up, even though we kind of already revealed it. It's Horcruxes. <laughs> so, good job to Team Elder One and I Know Nothing. <laughs> yeah. Good job. All righty, next question. How does Draco get the Death Eaters into Hogwarts? Time starts now. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Time's up. Yep. Great. <laughs> <laughs> So we got, uh, what's your answer? My answer is with the use of the vanishing cabinet. So we got through the back door and through the wardrobe, which maybe is a reference to Lion, Witch, in the wardrobe. <laughs> Not sure. <laughs> right. Correct answer is? Through the vanishing cabinet. <laughs> All right. Question. Which of the Weasleys were attacked by Fenrir Greyback? Time starts now. I know nothing says the, they meant vanishing cabinet when they said wardrobe. What? I know nothing says they met in Vanishing Cabinet when they- That's what I was kind of thinking. I don't think, like, I was thinking that that would be all right as well. Okay, then that's fine. If you said wardrobe, that worked. Yeah. <laughs> all right, 
What's your answer? Um, it is Bill Weasley. Okay. And our teams in the chat also are saying it was Bill. All right. Correct answer is Bill Weasley. All right, so we're moving on to the name four now. So this one you don't have to worry about keeping in the correct order. Uh, the way the name four works is we'll ask a question that has four answers. For every answer that you get right, you give yourself two points, meaning you can earn up to eight points on this question. And because it's a longer question, you'll have a minute and a half. I know nothing says thank you for being generous. <laughs> no problem. That's the Hufflepuff in me. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. After seeing Slug, oh, is this you? You can read it. After seeing Slughorn's memory, Dumbledore theorized that Voldemort made six Horcruxes, two of which had already been destroyed by this point. Name the remaining four. Time to yourself. <laughs> seconds left. what's your answer okay so it's the um locket slytherin's locket hugga hufflepuff's cup ravenclaw's diadem and the snake all right so um so let's go ahead and put up the answers there is salazar slytherin's locket hugga hufflepuff's cup Something pertaining to Rowena Ravenclaw. Yeah, because they don't figure out it's the diadem until later. Yeah, yeah. Until book seven. Yeah. And lastly, Nagini. All right. So question for you. Team Elder One mentioned Harry. And they don't really reveal Harry is a horcrux until the end of book seven. Do we yeah. want to take Harry as an answer? Um, I mean, that's up to you because Dumbledore... No, I think Dumbledore knows at that point, but he, your question was, what are the other six he predicts? Yeah, the other four. The other four, yeah, that he predicts. Yeah, because I really wasn't thinking like Harry, because like I said, that wasn't really, that was like the big reveal at the end of book seven. Right. Exactly. So yeah, so I really wasn't thinking, how about we do one point for Harry? Because you're right, he is a Horcrux. That wasn't really what the question was looking for, but you are right that he's a Horcrux. So yeah. you can give it, so Two points for Nagini, the cup and the locket, Team Elder One, just one point for Harry. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, but good job <laughs> on that one. So, um, I feel like uh, the diadem's always kind of forgotten. So. Yeah. <laughs> I don't forget it. <laughs> don't forget it. I know I don't either because I'm a Ravenclaw. So. Yeah. All right, so we're moving on to the final question. So if anyone uh, wants to put a challenge in now, we'll, uh, you can do that and we'll look it up on the Harry Potter wiki. Uh, in the meantime- The TARDIS is in this picture. What? The TARDIS is in this picture. Is it really? Yeah, it's down by Hagrid's hut. Oh, no way. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the Hogwarts fan art, I didn't... <laughs> That's really cool. I'm gonna have to look closer at it. <laughs> I was more looking at like the castle. I didn't yeah. <laughs> 
anyway. <laughs> um, mixing it up here with the fan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, so the way the final question works is it's a lot like Final Jeopardy. Um, you send in your current score along with a wager of up to 10 points. You don't need to have 10 points to wager 10 points. You'll just go negative if you get it wrong. And also, since it's the final question, the first answer you put in the chat will be considered your final answer. Uh, finally, if you've been playing along at home and not in the chat, but you'd like to participate in the final question, you can send in uh, your current score and a wager right now and we'll put that in also. All right, so I know nothing has four and a half and they wager one. Abby, what do you have? I have 23 and I'm going to wager 10. Right. Oops. In the wrong spot. There we go. Team Elder One has five. Uh, Team Elder One, you at least have seven because you got uh, you got the um, you got three of the name four right, and then we gave you the one point for Harry. So you at least have seven from that. Um, and then I think you got a couple more right. I know you joined late. Wait a second for you to adjust your score. Okay, so seven, wager three. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and put up the final question. What optional 12-week course was offered to students who were 17 or soon to be 17? Time starts now. I never heard from I know something, but they kind of disappeared few minutes ago, so I'm not sure if they're still with us. <laughs> All right, so I haven't got answers in the chat yet. Oh, there we go. They're starting to come in. So I want to hear yours in a minute. Okay. Okay, so Team Elder One has their answer in. And then just waiting for I know nothing. Okay. All right. So what's your answer? Uh, the fundamentals of apparition. All right. So correct answer is? Apparition. <laughs> so that means you're our winner today, Abby. You got a perfect Yay. score. <laughs> but Team Elder One is our uh, player, our, our winning player today with 10 points. Good job. You came in a little bit late, but that's all right. Yep. <laughs> and uh, I Know Nothing has three and a half points. So you came in second. We need to have, you know, like the game show, The Chase. I need to go on that, but like only Harry Potter. Only Harry Potter. <laughs> I'm imagining when we play heads up and you're just like, J -j 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 -j. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you ask me the questions, I'll be like, Harry, Hermione, run. <laughs> All right, so you want to put up our winner slide? Yes. <laughs> Uh, so congratulations to Team Elder One. You're our winner today. Um, join us on Saturday for Popular Fiction. Also, if you're playing the, um, I know nothing says Ken will probably still beat you. <laughs> In Harry Potter, I know now I'll have to go against Ken. Um, if you're playing the winter game, make sure to grab this code because it's the only way to earn the March badge because it is the last code of the trivia, like trivia code for winter game. It is Unbreakable Vow. All right. And also if you played Afterlife Trivia, leave us a comment below and let us know your final score. We're always happy to hear from people. Yeah. Uh, make sure to check out the library's YouTube channel. They have a lot of really awesome uh, stuff on there, like story times for kids, cooking shows, uh, book chats, all sorts of really cool stuff. They also have this uh, dial a storyline that you can call and listen to a poem or story as well, which is really fun. So make sure to check that out. Thank you everyone for playing. Thanks for playing. Bye. Bye. Thank you for sending me a message.